YouTube, it's your boy OGT Man, and today we're going to watch the end of Lizzo. Now, never, never listen to her music for real. Don't, don't even know what type of you know artist she is. But I heard she was cool as fuck with SZA, so a girl who's cool, SZA's cool with me, up until you know we watch the video or whatever the case may be. But anyways, without being said, let's go ahead and get to the video. Half a year since we last talked about Lizzo, last time we caught up with the singer, her life, her reputation, and possibly her freedom were all crumbling before her very eyes. Y'all know Lizzo is essentially a walking dove commercial at this point, all about quote unquote body positivity. I realized that my mere existence is a form of activism, especially in the body positive community, and I wear that hat really well. And I'm going to continue to put on and represent and create safe spaces for black fat women but according to the lawsuit filed against her that couldn't be less true alarming allegations of fat shaming SA, and many other Ellen DeGeneres-esque activities were being levied against the singer by the people she employs. These allegations all stem from a time period when Lizzo was working on a show for Amazon Prime titled Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. What's up, y'all? It's Lizzo. I'm looking for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. And the subsequent tour she did afterwards with the winners selected from said show. Namely, three backup dancers came out to sue Lizzo her touring company, Big Girl Entertainment, and a judge on the show named Shirlene Quigley. Basically, the allegations are that Lizzo is a power-hungry tyrant of a boss who felt she could treat people around her like dirt underneath her shoe. When I saw them speak up, I thought, that's what strong looks like. And I was really proud of them because I knew how toxic the work culture was on that tour uh, firsthand. They alleged she did things like force them to get nude for photographs. She made the dancers go with her to the red light district in Amsterdam, which is known for having nude performers. A pair. Oh, no, Lizzo, that's, that's what we doing? Making people get new, that's what we doing? I hope not, but let's keep going. During this show, Lizzo allegedly began inviting her dancers to take turns touching the club's nude performers. Apparently, she made them also catch toys straight out of their fajay and even eat bananas that were protruding out of the same area. The three women say they were pressured to attend the after-party events Lizzo planned because those who went were widely considered to enjoy greater job security. Things start kind of getting a little weird. They start pulling out toys they're Who's like they? the performers okay. then they start taking out bananas and the girl would like put them you know in her herself lizzo was encouraging people to like oh hey you come do it hey you come do it they even allege at one point that she encouraged one of her dancers who was a known virgin to touch one of these nude performers breast she started a chant after i had said no multiple times um, she was like, Ari, Ari, and then everyone kind of joined in, Ari, Ari. I briefly touched the performer and withdrew my hands and, you know, everyone kind of burst into laughter because me of all people, they thought it was funny that I was touching this performer. I just said, I feel unsafe. I feel disrespected. There's a bunch of mistreatment and just unprofessionalism going on. She basically started to ball up her fists and crack her knuckles. And she was like, ooh, you're so effing lucky right now. But she's like inching her way towards me, alluding to, you're so lucky I'm not going to hit you. They also claim that during practice, Lizzo was so insane that at one point she made them dance for 12 hours straight, all in an attempt to keep their jobs. 12 hours straight? Oh, well, you can't even stand up for two, 30 minutes. How are you gonna make them do that? You know what, that, man, that, that's wild, bro. One of them even had to soil their own pants out of fear that she would be fired if she asked for a bathroom break. Was I? under the impression that if I left the stage, I would be fired? Yes. Did I, unfortunately, go to the bathroom on myself on one stage because I was so terrified? Yes. There is, you, in a court of law, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know anything, but I know that if you ask someone to tell the truth, these things will come out of her mouth. 
If you have to say yes or no to these questions, she has to say yes because they are true. There was multiple witnesses. She was allegedly known to sing aloud and purposely embarrass dancers, as well as somehow be fat phobic. Basically, this lawsuit makes it sound as though the dancers were treated like second class citizens on this tour. Keep in mind, this all being after they signed up, worked extremely hard, and won a competition that was pitched as the dream chance to work directly with someone I'm sure at the time most of them loved and respected. I look up to her so much and I just want to follow in her footsteps and I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Furthermore, based on their experience, she seems to be the exact opposite of the person she portrays publicly, calling her political advocacy into serious question. And so you guys are probably wondering at this point, well, Jamari, why do you bring this all up? And it's actually because there has been some movement when it comes to this case. And it looks like we are going to see them actually go to court. But also when her Instagram account handle is literally Lizzo be eating. Of course the comments came out to absolutely destroy her. This guy says quitting eating? Ignore all the positive comments. They lying. See you at McDonald's next week. Maybe take... <laughs> Why would they put see you at McDonald's next? <laughs> and I thought I was fucked up. Nah, y'all, y'all worse than me. Walk, a very long one. And now people are actually speculating that the real reason Lizzo is going to be taking some time away is due to the latest update in her court case where a judge denied her motion to completely throw this lawsuit out. So the judge on February 2nd denied Lizzo's motion to toss out the bombshell harassment lawsuit filed by three of her former backup dancers. Now keep in mind, he did actually dismiss certain accusations here, but he is going to be allowing the case as a whole to move forward to trial. Basically, what Lizzo and her team of lawyers were trying to do here was to get this case dismissed under California's anti-slap statute. Which, to my understanding, is when someone goes to the judge and they tell them, hey, this lawsuit levied against me is a bunch of nonsense. But because it is now a legal matter, I do not want to speak out publicly and try to defend myself because I don't want to... If you're old AC... Mm, 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 mm. She trying to deflect the fact that she was treating people like that. Mm, mm, mm. Ma'am, I'm here to tell you right now, you are cooked. I open myself up to more litigation. Like, as you can see here, her lawyers argued that the accusers were using this lawsuit to silence her. But in the end, the judge would rule that that anti-slap statute didn't fit all these different allegations, though he did toss out some claims, like the fat shaming claim and the idea that people were discriminated against due to their mental health problems. It is dangerous for the court to weigh in, ham-fisted, into constitutionally protected activity. I believe there he's talking about Lizzo's right to free speech. But it is equally dangerous to turn a blind eye to allegations of discrimination or other forms of misconduct merely because they take place in a speech-related environment. So to me, he's saying, yeah, some of that stuff that she said does kind of fall under free speech, a kind of like he said, she said. But some of these other allegations must have a little bit more merit. I mean, peer pressuring someone to eat a banana out of someone's pussy, I mean, that's pretty insane. Now, from Lizzo's camps, they're essentially saying that these are just a bunch of disgruntled employees. They're arguing that Davis, Williams, and Rodriguez, who are the defendants in this case, had an axe to grind against the star because they had been reprimanded over a pattern of gross misconduct and a failure to perform their job up to par. So they're essentially saying, oh, these three girls, they're just being three sore losers because they couldn't make the cut, and in the end, they weren't good enough to be part of my dance team. Plaintiffs embarked on a press tour, vilifying defendants and pushing their fabricated sob story in the courts and in the media. That ends today. Instead of taking any accountability for their actions, plaintiffs filed this lawsuit against defendants out of spite and in pursuit of media attention, public sympathy, and a quick payday with minimal effort. And apparently the judge even made a motion to dismiss the harassment allegation that came from that nude photo shoot that apparently some of these women did not want to partake in. And he also dismissed this other allegation that stated that Lizzo's camp was intentionally interfering with these dancers getting other jobs. So to me, it seems like the thing they're really going to be looking into here is that night at the red light district where Lizzo seems to have been a very inappropriate boss with people who are obviously not only her subordinates, 
but people who she has several different power and influence levels over. So now Lizzo and the captain of this dance team, Charlene, will still have to face these allegations of harassment, as well as accusations of racial and religious discrimination. So obviously Lizzo is going to be fighting this thing tooth and nail with her reputation on the line. I think it's extremely damaging in the court of public opinion because of the image that we've all believed Lizzo to be. And so we're going to see how this all plays out, but this is obviously going to change her reputation forever. And to me, her public image as this like body positive person, I think all that shit at this point is done. But I... Hey end of the video and damn that's crazy you make your people do that nah you're fucking sick in the head nah but anyways y'all that's the end of the video talk to y'all later it's your boy OGT man signing out